the BNTG, those who control trade, control the world. Entity number 92, Farron, Habitats, BNTG Outposts. Levels include Level 1, Level 2, Level 10, Level 230. Image Caption, a picture of our beloved little ferret. Description, Entity 92, also known as Farron, is often described as a cute, small, highly trained Siamese ferret owned by the BNTG that has the ability to noclip to any level he wishes to. Farron is rumored to have the ability to noclip to specific areas and levels themselves if he so desires. Notably, wanderers who have physical contact with Farron when he noclips will also noclip into the same level and area as Farron. His primary residence is a small ferret cage found in Level 1's Trader's Keep, though the BNTG maintains similar cages in all of their trading outposts. Behaviors Farron is noted as being extremely loyal due to his years of training. Personality traits are often characterized by his playful and hyperactive attitude. Entity 92 can be found roaming outposts. Wanderers are permitted to interact and play with Farron while he roams. While Farron's purpose to the BNTG is not fully understood, it has been stated by the BNTG that he acts as a way to obtain resources that may otherwise be unreachable or too risky to secure by conventional methods. Footnote. For example, bones from level 7. End footnote. This has led to the supposition that Entity 92's abilities allow him to enter otherwise perilous levels to harvest resources for the BNTG with ease. The BNTG have built a morning and nighttime routine for Farron to best energize him, which can be found below. The BNTG Farron Morning Slash Night Routine 7 o'clock to 7.10 a.m. Wake Farron up. 7.10 to 7.20 a.m. Give Farron fresh food and water for breakfast. 7.30 to 8 o'clock a.m. Get Farron out of his cage for a morning exercise. 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock a.m. Recreation time. 10 o'clock to 11.30 a.m. Training routine. Footnote. Farron's training routine is currently undisclosed to any outside sources. And footnote. 11.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. Give Farron new food and water for lunch. 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock p.m. Nap time. 1 o'clock to 1.10 p.m. Wake up Farron. 1.10 to 1.40 p.m. Afternoon exercise. 1.40 to 3.30 p.m. Recreation time. 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Training routine. 4.30 to 5 o'clock p.m. Roaming period. 5 o'clock to 6.30 p.m. Give Farron fresh food and water for dinner. 6.30 to 7 o'clock p.m. Recreation time to get out any extra energy. 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. Put to bed. 9 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock a.m. Farron's sleeping time. Discovery. Entity 92's discovery date has not yet been disclosed by the BNTG. Operative Samuel L. from the BNTG was interviewed on 01-01-25 by Operative Dr. Ashley K. of the Meg to get a better understanding of what possibly happened on the first encounter. BNTG Discovery Interview Interviewer Dr. Ashley K. Interviewed Samuel L. Date January 1st, 2025 at 9.45 p.m. Interview Start Ashley since we're both aware of why you're being called in today, let's just jump straight into it. Now, this is going to sound blunt, but do you know anything of Farron? His background? Samuel. Heh, not a small talker, I see. Well, I know quite a bit, albeit I'm not his caretaker by any means, but I know everything from his schedule to his abilities, and even some commands. Ashley. So then, you must be aware of any first encounters with the entity. Samuel. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really only know a tiny bit about that, although I'm curious why we're even having this chat. Aren't you people supposed to be, like, finding a way out of here, not studying some animal? Why so curious? Ashley, it's quite telling if this entity has the ability to noclip anywhere in this place. Finding out its abilities has the potential of getting those of us who want out of here, out of here. 
Samuel. Interesting. Anyway, I know it was one of the higher-ups that actually first came across Farron. At first, he was just a pet to him, though none of us really believed Farron was an actual ferret. I mean, like, there are talking cats and parrots that make people worship it. Anyway, the first encounter I've ever had with it was when it was bringing us resources from level 8. Ashley. Then why so secretive? Why hide a first encounter if it was something so mundane as that? Samuel. To be honest, I don't really know. Although most of us think that our boss saw the creature do something special. Maybe it has another ability that's not just traveling? I don't really know in all honesty. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Ashley. Well, is there anything else you can share? Samuel. Well, there is one more thing I guess I should share. Farron has recently been a little mischievous. I'd just recommend being a little cautious if you're interacting with him. Alright, can I leave now? If this goes on for too long, some of my higher-ups might suspect me of stealing or something. Ashley. Yes, we can end our session. Thank you, Samuel, for this information. You've helped us get one more step closer to escape. Interview end. Do's and don'ts. Do. Pet Farron when allowed. Don't. Disturb Farron during his routine. Footnote. The BNTG have stated that they do not like wanderers disturbing Farron during his routine. End footnote. Let Farron into wanderers' stuff. Ask about Farron's training routine. BNTG Official Farron Training Guide. Do not disclose. Welcome, BNTG Caretaker. By this point, I'm sure you're aware of what your task is, yes? No? Well then, we should probably get you two acquainted. Farron is our pet, and while he is cute, cuddly, and playful, he is also one of our most important members. Farron's job is to get into tight spaces, or the dangerous places that our other members might not be able to access. He's also useful for transportation. As you can tell, he's quite important to us, and it's your job to train him every day for these types of situations. To start, you're to choose a basic command from this list. Go get some water. No clip to a BNTG base and back. No clip me to the other side of the room. Go grab warp berries. Once any one of these basic tasks has been completed, you should take a slight break. Farron, while a member, is still an animal. It's important we take care of him like all animals. After all, he is very important to us. Alright, break over. Now you can move on to a slightly more complex task. Once a day, Farron must go into one of the following levels to gather materials. These materials don't have to be particularly useful. However, it is important that Farron continues to demonstrate his no-clipping ability on a regular basis. Level 8, Level 9, Level 205, Level 207, Level 230. This task has likely taken a little more effort for Farron, so let him have one last break before the final part of his training. Alrighty, final break is over. Now, you're going to do the last exercise. Farron will do some stretches. This should prepare him for tight spaces easier. Despite his abilities, training him not to rely solely on his no-clipping is beneficial for both him and the company. Thank you. Now that you two have completed the daily training, you can call it in for now. Remember, this should be done at most twice daily, no more than that. After all, we wouldn't want to tire him out too much. He deserves a nice break for now. Thank you for reading this training guide. Disclosure? There is one more thing we should discuss. While this does not apply to his training routine, it is very important that all caretakers are aware that Farron needs to be tucked in at night. This includes putting him in his cage, tucking him into his bed, and reading him a story to fall asleep to. For professionalism's sake, we do not disclose this information to outside sources.